good to be able to sort this out face to face. Of course. You know Glenn Tilson from HR. You know I love my work. And I know I've made some mistakes, but losing Chantel hit me really hard. You've had a tough year. And we've taken this into consideration when reviewing your suspension. Thank you. I know you and I have had our differences, but I've always felt like we could talk things out. Unfortunately, your running with the police for public indecency this month was a step too far. So, I'm afraid, we have no choice but to terminate your employment. You're not serious. I wasn't arrested. Even so, hardly appropriate for a criminal solicitor and definitely not a good look for the firm. I have a list of the full grounds for your dismissal and the necessary papers for you to sign. We've revoked your access to the building and cleared your desk. I've got your things in the car. <laughs> we'll need your security pass. Please be assured your case was reviewed thoroughly. He's so picky when it comes to his training. Thank you. I'll get your things from the car. Thanks, Glenn. We thought it in your best interest to get it over with, rather than you having to do the walk of shame in front of your colleagues. Ex-colleagues. You couldn't wait for this, could you? Always had it in for me since day one putting every tiny slip-up I ever made into that HR file. I have high standards, and you fall very, very short. Yeah. Well, you know what? Oh, and I read those vile messages you sent me online. Don't know what you're talking about. We both know it was you. So if you even think of appealing, I'll make sure everyone knows what kind of man you really are. We've got no proof. And I could have you done for unfair dismissal. <laughs> oh, please. Go ahead. Maybe I'll get the police involved. Let them investigate the messages. I'm sure they'll find enough evidence to charge you. Who do you think you are? I'm somebody who sees you for exactly what you are. A man who thinks he's smarter than everybody else. Especially a black woman. You built this great front for yourself. Big house, nice car, expensive suits. But with no job and no money, there's going to be nothing for you to hide behind. Everybody will see you for the nasty little misogynist you really are. Threatened by women. Especially women like me. Get out of my house! With pleasure. Oh, and in light of the terms of your suspension, you won't be receiving your final month's bonus. And I'm gonna make damn sure you never work again. 